my channel my name is Tony Tony Olawe and if it's your first time stopping by you are most definitely welcome okay so let me just start off by saying I know I have been doing a lot of wig videos back to back and it's kind of monotonous but honestly there is a good reason why I have been doing this videos this way and I'll tell you guys all about it very very soon but anyways today's video is another wig transformation video I'm going to be sharing with you guys you know a few tips and tricks to pretty much slay your wig and to transform yourself because if you're like me and you know maybe you cut your hair recently or you just want something different I'm going to show you guys how to slay your wigs without spending all these coins and hairstylists because you can do it by yourself honestly so without further ado guys let's go ahead and jump right into this video I want to go ahead and thank Ali Pearl for sponsoring this video the hair I'm going to be using today is from Ali Pearl hey guys so let's start with our hair prep now let me just give you guys a quick run through of my hair journey so far because you guys always say I never show my hair. But I don't know if you guys remember this but in January of this year I decided to relax and cut my hair into a pixie cut. So after that I cried the hair stuff for like a couple of months. Then in June I decided to bleach my hair by myself. Huge, huge, huge mistake because my hair got severely damaged and oh boy. Anyways, late July, I decided to cut off my hair and do a big chop and so now my hair is 100% natural. So I have been natural since July, so about 4-5 or five months now. Anyways, we are going to go ahead and braid our hair so that our wig lays down nice and flat. Because if you miss this step, guys, you are going to be looking like a cone head slash pine head. 100% guarantee. And there are cute girls over here, we do not do that, okay? Once I'm done braiding my hair, we're going to move on to our wig and lace prep. So for my unboxing, like I said earlier on, my hair is from Ali Pearl Hair and the box came with a pair of mink lashes, some instructions, a hair bag and a wig cap and also came with a brush as well to lay down your baby hairs. And this is what the wig looks like out of the box. The curls are so beautiful and obviously the wig has three combs and an elastic band and this is a 13 by 4 lace front wig okay so we are going to go ahead and lay our wig on a mannequin head like so and secure it with some t-pins Once the wig is secure, we're going to go ahead and put our hair into a ponytail so that no bleach touches the rest of our wig. Then I'm going to go ahead and just get all the stuff I need to bleach my lace frontal. I'm going to be taking my Joico 30 volume developer and putting this in my mixing bowl as well as my BW2 powder lightener. I'm going to go ahead and give this a good mix until the consistency is quite thick and not runny. Once that's done, I'm going to take a plastic knife Shout out to Pick Meal. I learned this um, method from her. I'm going to use a plastic knife to apply the bleach onto the lace frontal. This is because the knots in front of the lace were kind of black. So I needed to just bleach it just so my lace melts a little bit more into my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this throughout the entire lace frontal and leave this to sit for about 30 minutes. Once 30 minutes is up, I'm going to shampoo my hair with some neutralizing shampoo and this is very very important because you do not want the bleach to keep on working, okay, you need to denatralize it. I'm going to go ahead and tint my lace front using my Wig Guru's Wig Tint in Caramel Frappe. And then I'm going to take my blow dryer to ensure it's nice and dry. This will just ensure the lace matches my skin tone a little bit more. So now we're going to move on to the install part of our wig and the wig cap I'm using is a nice brown wig cap so it matches my skin and then I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig onto my head and just kind of secure the sides and cut off the excess lace around my ears. Taking some rubbing alcohol, I'm going to go ahead and use this 
on my skin where i know the lace is going to be laid just so it's easier to lay my wig down then i'm going to take my got to be hair gel of course and apply a good width onto the perimeter of my forehead Secure my wig down in place, I'm going to use the back of my manicure scissors to just press this down into my skin. Then I'm going to take my, what's this called? It's a wrapping sheet and I'm going to use this to wrap my lace and use my blow dryer to ensure the wig is nice and secure and my got to be hair gel is dry. And this is my favorite part of every week video that I do. I'm going to take my bio silk and apply a good, good, generous amount onto my hair. Because I noticed that the hair was a little bit dry. I don't know if it's because of the weather or because the wig has just been in my filming room for a while. Or that's just how the wig is. So I applied a very good, generous amount of bio silk, which also serves as a heat protect serum. Once I'm done curling my entire wig, I'm going to take out some baby hairs in front and just lay this down. I'll be using my olive oil mousse and my got to be hair gel to lay down my baby hairs. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and take my powder and this is my LA Girl Pro powder and I'm going to use this on the perimeter of my lace front and on the part as well just to ensure everything blends into my skin flawlessly. Next, I'm going to just use some hairspray for that extra security on my wig because I'm going out later on today so I want my wig to be extra extra secure. I'm going to go ahead and just set my baby hairs while I do my makeup. Oh, by the way, like the full tutorial on this look is on my Instagram, okay? So, I'm just giving you guys a quick, nice tease. So, once my makeup is done, I'm going to take off my hair scarf or whatever that is called I'm going to go ahead and just comb out my curls and I'm adding a lot of bio silk in my hair to just give the hair some volume and some shine so to flatten the top of my hair I'm going to go in with my hot comb and just use this to give my frontal a nice run through and that's pretty much it for the install guys Okay guys, I want to give you guys like a quick first impressions of this hair in particular. Now I have worked with Ali Pearl before in the past, I am not new to their hair. The lace frontal is A1, like I was able to bleach my knots and I have used hair before in the past where I'm bleaching my knots and like the hair is coming out of the actual knots but that did not happen with this wig. Typically when that happens I just don't even bother like filming the video. The lace front is very very sturdy, it was easy to install, nice and thin and flat. The lace does not irritate my scalp, so that's like a very very big thing for me now. And the only thing I would say that I noticed about this hair that was a little bit off for me was the hair was a little bit dry and I don't know why it was generally because it's really really cold here or something and it's just been in my film room for a while but it was a little bit dry but once I used my bio silk on the hair, like my curls came back, you know, my hair is like nice and the curls are staying in place. Um, in terms of how the hair holds curls, it holds curls perfectly and the hair is 26 inches so like it stops right here just so you guys know. My last point for the first impression is, I don't know if you guys can notice, but the front part of the hair is way shorter than the rest of the length so I believe where the lace front is for the wig is about maybe 18 or 20 inches and the rest of the hair is 26. I kind of like that though because I find that once the hair is all the same length It doesn't frame my face properly 
but um once you know there's some sort of layers going on i feel like it frames my face better but everybody is different okay so that's just something to keep in mind when you guys are shopping for your wigs and yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys i promise to make my wig videos way more entertaining than this like i was speaking to my friend the other day and we're just like brainstorming so many ideas that i could do with like my wig videos so henceforth my wig videos are going to be way more interesting than this now they're going to be way more entertaining and just way more educative as well so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i really really hope you guys enjoyed it and you, and you guys learned a thing or two on how to install your wigs and yeah until next time my loves peace and love Mwah.